In this demo, we're going to look at how we can uh, deploy and use uh, Jenkins Blue Ocean, the new user experience on Jenkins for interacting with pipelines uh, on OpenShift using the certified image that comes uh, with OpenShift for Jenkins. I have a microservice which is called Cart deployed uh, in my project. It's a Spring Boot uh, application that provides a shopping cart functionality uh, through REST APIs. So what we want to do is to uh, customize that uh, certified Jenkins image and install the Blue Ocean plugin uh, on that. Uh, we can do that using the uh, source to image uh, mechanism on OpenShift for Jenkins. In order to do that, all we need to do is a Git repository that uh, has a plugins.txt in it with a list of plugins that we want to install. And uh, I've created that already on GitHub uh, under my account, Jenkins Blue Ocean. See, it's pretty much empty. It has only one plugins uh, text, and uh, that includes the name of the plugin that I want to deploy. Um, all right, let's uh, create a build uh, in OpenShift and uh, use that. Um, just to give you uh, an idea of how I find the images in OpenShift, I can search for Jenkins, see what's available. Okay, I've got a couple of templates and uh, image streams that are available for me with different versions. I want to use this Jenkins image stream with version two uh, as my builder image, as to why builder image. And refer to my Git repository so you would install those plugins and build a new image that has that plugin pre-installed for me. But I created a new build config for me and an image stream where it, it will store uh, the, the resulting Jenkins image, a customized uh, Jenkins image on there. If I go to uh, OpenShift under Builds, you can see that the new build is created for me and it's uh, running at the moment. Click on the logs and see uh, exactly what's happening in the follow -up. Download a set of plugins and then uh, builds the image, and now it's pushing it back to the uh, registry. Okay, the build is complete. Uh, now we can uh, deploy this image, the customized image we just built, using the default templates that exist in, uh, uh, in OpenShift. There are two templates available, one that has persistent storage. So if I restart my container, uh, Jenkins file is going to still be there. And I have another one that is ephemeral. Uh, so while uh, the data disappears, I'm going to use the ephemeral one. And customize which Jenkins image should be deployed uh, with this plugin. I'm going to increase the memory limit for disk. To this container, I'm going to change the Jenkins image stream tag to the uh, image that we just built and it's uh, in the current namespace, it's not in the OpenShift namespace. Great. All right, it uh, immediately deploys um, Jenkins instance based on the image that we had just built. So Jenkins is up and running, let's uh, give it a try. The image that comes with OpenShift and the one that we have based our customization on it, uh, integrates into the OAuth server in uh, OpenShift. So I can log in in Jenkins uh, using my OpenShift credential. Okay, here is Jenkins. This is the traditional uh, UI that Jenkins have, but if you notice in the upper bar, uh, you have open uh, blue ocean button. If I click on that, and here we are. We are in the Jenkins uh, Blue Ocean uh, UI, the new UI for uh, building pipelines. Um, okay, so let's uh, now create an OpenShift pipeline that builds and uh, deploys our card service uh, using OpenShift pipeline and see how that integrates into Blue Ocean. In the GitHub repo for uh, card service, uh, I have created a a pipeline, OpenShift pipeline definition, which is basically a build config that refers to the Git repository that contains Jenkins file uh, for this um, uh, for this pipeline. So inside our cart service repo, we have the we have a Jenkins file. This is a standard Jenkins file uh, using Jenkins pipeline DSL for uh, creating complex pipelines. So my uh, the OpenShift pipeline just refers to this Git repo and tells OpenShift that pull this Jenkins file and uh, create it on Jenkins, run it on Jenkins, but manage it in OpenShift so you can manage all your builds 
uh, in a single place along with your uh, SY bill and other type of bills that you have. Um, but let's uh, create this pipeline in our project. Okay, pipeline is created. If I go to the open console, build pipelines, you can see that I have pipeline running. You can start a build. It immediately starts a pipeline. And it says also here that the pipeline definition is actually in this Git repo as a Jenkins file. So it's gonna pull that Jenkins file from the Git repo and uh, create that pipeline on Jenkins. And let's take a look to see what's happening in Blue Ocean. See that uh, our pipeline is automatically created in, uh, in Jenkins uh, as well. It is recognized that one build is running, click on that. It has a log of all the stages uh, uh, that is being uh, executed right now. The build stage uh, finished. Run test in parallel. We're building a Docker image for cart service. We take the jar file that was produced in the build phase and then take the official OpenJDK image that comes uh, with OpenShift um, and layer that jar file on top of JDK and save the result as a new Docker image, which is the cart service Docker image. This image uh, we build only once and then promote that to various environments and deploy it into uh, various uh, containers like development and tests or UAT and so on. Right now, we are deploying this image into the container that we had in our uh, project. It first deploys the container, and then uh, since we want to run a couple of tests after deployment, uh, it uh, waits and verifies till the container has bootstrap and uh, the Spring Boot application has started is coming up. Deployment finishes and uh, the system tests are, are run uh, also successfully.